So, you're looking for an extremely budget way to play games. A way to play games without the need to use a high-end graphics card, or a graphics card in general. Well, what you need is an APU. An APU basically provides the power of a low-end AMD CPU and a low-end graphics card. That means if you buy one of these, you don't have to shell out $150 extra for a low-end graphics card. Instead, all of the graphics performance comes out of this little thing. The APU we will be looking at today is the AMD A45300, which is one of the lower end APUs by AMD. It is a dual core running at 3.4GHz. The graphics it runs is a Radeon HD 7480D at a clock speed of 723MHz. The CPU runs two threads and is sadly not fully unclocked. We managed to buy this CPU second hand for only $25 US. Most new 5300s will only cost you about 40 bucks, making them a great choice for budget builds. So how does this CPU and its integrated graphics run in games? Let's find out. The test bench we are running is of course an AMD A45300 and a Gigabyte GA72A75M D3H. The PC also runs with 8GB of DDR3 memory and a Western Digital 1TB Caviar Blue hard drive. So how did it perform? In 3D Mark Vantage, the 5300 received a score of 2145. We also had an Intel Core i3-3220 running Intel HD 2500 graphics which received a score of 1426. Now these may seem like high scores, but when you compare them to a higher tier APU, like the A65400K, which received a score of 2813, you start to realize how underpowered these chips can be. In Synbench R11.5, the 5300 received a score of 1.43, while the A65400K received a slightly higher score of 1.53. In Synbench OpenGL, the 5300 received a score of 19.77 frames per second while the 5400K got a score of 27.77 FPS. But who cares about tests? You want to know how these chips performed in games. So we ran the 5300 and the 5400K in some games and here are the results. In Lost Planet 2 with the settings on low and the resolution set to 1680 by 1050 the 5300 got a minimum FPS of 14 and a max of 24 while the 5400K got a max of 33 and a minimum of 21. In Assassin's Creed 2 on high settings and the resolution the same, the 5300 got a max FPS of 24 and a minimum of 12, while the 5400K got a max of 33 and a minimum of 14. If you were to lower the settings even more, these would become perfectly playable frame rates. The last game we ran was Skyrim on low settings, also on the same resolution. In Skyrim, the 5300 got a much higher max FPS of 41 and a low of 9, while the 5400K got a similar max of 44 and a minimum of 11. Definitely playable frame rates. So in conclusion, if you're going to buy an APU for your budget gaming rig, then you should think about getting a higher tier APU, such as the A8 series or A10. That way you'll be getting the advantage of a quad core and a higher gigahertz frequency. However, I still do like the A300 as a chip designed for basic tasks and games, and it's these sorts of things that make, the, make me like AMD more and more. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to like and comment, and of course, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content from me.